Hey everyone, welcome! I'm Trish, and you're at Trish's Creative Treasures. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing as great as I am. But we are here today to do some weekly shout-outs. These are some channels that I watch, that I enjoy watching, and I'm going to give you a couple extra ones today. And these are Crafty Yarny channels and some non crafty yarning channels okay so a lot of other stuff that i watch is homesteading um gardening canning <coughs> um dumpster diving I'm, I'm not too proud to say if i could i would definitely go dumpster diving because i see how much free food these people say you know save out of it um in fact my son-in-law he went last weekend and Hey, he, he came home with all these greens and vegetables and fruits and there was a pack of bacon and a pack of hot dogs and tons of avocados. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Tomatoes, blueberries. I don't remember what all, but <laughs> I was eating yesterday. I was like, this dumpster salad is the best dumpster salad <laughs> I've ever had. But yeah, we just have all, all these down the road. So Yes, I watched dumpster diving and I ate dumpster food, which I'm not afraid to do. I'm not that proud because times are getting tight and times are getting tough. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to start with the yarny ones. Okay. So I'm going to give you one, two, three, four, five. So I'm doing an extra one because I usually do four yarny ones and two, but I've got one, two, I'll give you three three today and then i'll do three next week maybe i'll do two who knows depends on how i am i'm feeling generous and i'm feeling happy and i feel great so i'm gonna give you a couple extras why not right so my first one is a girl that's dear to my heart um i love her to death mrs hootie hootington crafts that would be jeanette and oh MG is she ever talented, especially with the Amagurumi. She makes her own patterns and she keeps on on, on her Etsy channel. And she is also one like with me that has a lot of um, health issues, autoimmune disorders that keep you from being able to do a lot in life. You know, most people would look and think, oh, you're lazy. You just don't get up and fight, fight through it. There is no getting up and fighting through it. Um, so, yes, she has a lot to talk about. She's a storyteller like I am. So, if you like to hear someone talk about things in their life and feeling... Because I know a lot of you say, I love hearing you talk because it's like we're good friends that we're just sitting in a room together having a cup of coffee or tea and just we're just talking together. And I'm glad you feel that way because that's how I feel. Like, I can have these conversations. I don't go nowhere. I don't talk to nobody all week long, guys. So, it's like this is my... I'm going to chat with you about things. So I'm glad that those of you that love it, love it. I'm sorry if you don't, you don't have to watch if you don't like it. I mean, appreciate it if you do. I really, 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 really do. But, you know, I'm not going to get upset if you don't. But anyways, let me get a sip of my coffee here. My nice new, like, 24-ounce mug from Walmart. I saw that and I'm like, oh, I got to have me a big mug like that. Because I do go through a lot of coffee, guys. All right. So first one was Mrs. Hootie Hootington Crafts. The second one is Yolanda, the crochet addict. Um, she has yarn hauls, wish hauls. She is very talented. She makes beautiful blankets and everything else that she makes she's a dog groomer so she tells you about her life with dog grooming and her dogs that she has at home um she does a lot of large ice yarn hauls so go over and check her out um she's trying to work her way up the ladder just like a lot of us are the other one would be Ki kiwi's crochet channel i mean kiwi's crochet corner so if you haven't gone and watched adrian is her name go over and watch her she does tutorials she does yarn hauls she does like show and tells of the stuff that she's made she's also doing once a week this series on um she'll pick somebody's um name and they tell 
her, her their zodiac so she reads them she got a zodiac book and so she reads out of that zodiac book for that birthday what their zodiac and everything means so it's, it's pretty cool um and she has her parrot kiwi that's part of the show so a lot of people love to watch her for watching kiwi but she does do a lot of great tutorials and like i said she does some really good yarn hauls so go show her some love the other one is dina's homespun fun um dina is great she just moved and um, she was able during the summer to do a lot of videos, you know, like daily. Um, and she does do the bag of day once a week. Pet, well, she does a pattern a week um, for Crystal at Bag of Day Crochet um, to help promote her channel and to help her out. So she still does that. But right now she's not able to get on as much because she also homeschools her children. Well, I think her one son's growing. The other one, she's still homeschooling. But yeah, they also just moved and so it was a process and you know it's always like uh it wasn't by choice moving it was um her husband got a job that they had to move for the job look at this one hair sticking out like what the heck and it's falling down yeah what are you gonna do it's my fake hair <laughs> i don't have it in very tight today and my cat's got a hold of it last night like thinking it was something and uh i was like this is a freaking disaster i think that's why these loose hairs keep sticking up <laughs> okay so yes dina's homespun fun and the last one which is the bonus one and this is really uh, go watch this kid because wow his channel's name is stanley's crochet workshop he's a kid and he makes all these awesome stuff and he does donations and blah 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 so go over and help him out let's grow him up because he is young and he's a kid he's a boy and i mean not that that should matter or not but like in today's society you know you know how they get right away not that it really matters you know but some people are just weird so he's keeping the art alive you know and he's so young and it's something that he can pass down to generation hopefully you know none of my children want to learn anything about crochet and yarn but my granddaughter Josie loves every bit of it and she loves to try I let her just hold yarn and hold the hook just to get the feel of it she doesn't have the quite motor skill yet to be able to do the hand eye I mean she's six and she's very intelligent I mean very intelligent but just because you're intelligent doesn't also mean that you have the motor skills developed yet hand to mind you know so but we're working on that I let her just get a feel of it she loves yarn she loves yarn as much as I do she just wouldn't know what to do with it right now but she loves Nana to make her lots of stuff so all right so that is my crochet ones um, so yes, go check them out, subscribe, give them some love, watch some of their older videos, help them get to their goal. Because for those of us and you that are content creators, we all know that, you know, it's, it's work and it's hard to climb up and get to your goals or to get to the point where you can be monetized. Because I know with me, I just... I, one check a month is just not enough, you know, until you pay the bills and I get my kids what they need and stuff. Mama Sita be kind of almost broke, you know. So anyways, here are three of the um, non-yarny channels that I watch. So one is called Freakin' Frugal. So F-R-E-A-K-I-N, Freakin' and Frugal, F-R-U-G-A-L. They are mainly a dumpster diving channel, but they also show you, like, at the end, when they're done dumpster diving, they go home and they spread it all out on the table, and they show you everything that they're able to salvage and get, and, like, a lot of it they keep to put in their pantry, so that way this is how they supplement buying groceries um, with not much money. But she also teaches you some canning stuff. She's just a new canner herself, but she tries to teach what she's learning as she goes on. Um, she does homemade, like all sorts of stuff and she gives shopping tips to be frugal and stuff. So, you know, if that interests you, 
go check them out um they're really cool they got some young little girls but mainly it's just um mommy and they call each other mommy and daddy um so i think her name's amy but i'm not sure what his name is frugal daddy and frugal mommy that's what they call each other okay the next one is acre homestead so Jess is wonderful. I love to watch her. Not that she has any idea of who I am, but she does um, freezer meals. Well, she will spend just one whole day cooking and preparing freezer meals for their busy life. So that way they can just pull something out and put it in the oven. They don't really eat out. They make everything from scratch at home and she freezes, she cans, she dehydrates, uh, you name it. They have the, they have, they also do, um, freeze drying so and they just had a baby so you know she does everything with the baby and a little snuggly thing you know up close to her so she can still do her videos and still keep the baby content at the same time hi Draken. Draken's just walking in from school okay and so my last one is also a dumpster diving one um curbside junkies they get a lot of awesome stuff, and pretty much they donate almost everything that they get, but they salvage so much out of the dumpsters. Like, it breaks my heart when I watch how America wastes so much stuff that they would rather destroy things to put in a dumpster. Um, I go ask Jim. He's over at his house. <coughs> so, um, yeah, like clothing they'll shred, shoes they'll shred clothing i mean food sometimes they take out but most of the time the food's still actually good but items like that you could donate to for people that have lost everything and have nothing or the homeless or this isn't that it's like how is that legal oh yeah all right we're not going to get me into that because that's a tangent i can go down and i could go down that tangent all day long about the waste that america has so yeah I'm not, like I said, I'm not too proud to say that dumpster diving is the way to go. So, all right, guys, there are your shout outs for this week. So I hope you go and find something interesting with everyone. Um, the other, oh, with um, Acre Homestead, she's also a big um, gardener. So she does her whole planting season with you, growing season, harvest season, everything. So, yes. There's a lot to learn from Jess. So, all right, guys. If you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell so you are notified every time that I upload a video. Give me some thumbs up because that does help my channel grow. And leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you, do you watch any of these channels I suggested today? Because if you had, cool. Share them out too. All right. I love you. Till the next one. Bye.